Okay, you guys, I just got an update on the truck. And I don't know why I'm smiling for it because it's not good. <laughs> well, it's kind of good. It's kind of bad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so it's not the ECM. Unfortunately, it's not the wiring, as far as we know. Well, we're pretty much sure. He's pretty much sure. And I'm relaying the message. It's not the fuel injectors. It's not the check valve. I got a video talking about the check valve. I had to replace that about less than two years ago. He said it is the return of the fuel. And all he had to do was uh, spray starter fluid in the air intake and it will start up. It runs fine. It's not skipping anything, which I know it wasn't skipping when it was running last. But, and it'll stay running. But if you cut it off, you go right back to try to start it up, it won't start. So, he says, you don't really know what it is, but it's got something to do with the return fuel. So, I mean, that's why it's bad, because it's still a question mark. We don't know what's going on. The good thing is, it will start every time. You spray the fluid up in there, and it'll start right up, no problem. So, at least that part. As we love to say, it could always be worse. Um, what else? So the other thing I wanted to talk about, because as you can see, I'm driving. And he just called me. And this was going to be another video, but I go ahead and might as well make it now. Um, this is why it is important to pay attention to how you nurture relationships with your mechanic and, and everybody else that you're dealing with. I mean, everybody from personal to business uh, that you interact with. But, okay, so we're talking about the mechanic. And what I mean is is this. It starts first with something that a lot of people just dismiss and don't find very important, but it's step one. Is that is, and you, if you've seen some of my older videos, I talk about the only way that I'm getting seen, he had a whole list of people that's supposed to come and they showing up late. Because they show up late, I step right in there and I wasn't on the schedule. You know, I wasn't on his schedule. But I'm able to get taken care of because guess what? They ain't show up on time. But you got to think about that. Now, suppose it get to the point where you need him to do something like I just needed him to do. I had to leave because today is my mom's birthday and I didn't want to sit around there. Oh, that's the other part. He left, he worked on other trucks. You saw where he worked at. There's two spots that's out on the parking lot where he works at when he's not at his real job doing mechanic work. He left that spot to come to my truck to check it out with me not being there and just tell me what I owe him and I pay him when I see him or later or cash up or whatever. That only is going to happen if the person um, has faith in you following through with what you say. You know, they know you to be responsible. They know you to follow through. They know you to be good with your word. If you're somebody who can't even do something as simple as show up on time that you agree upon to get the truck looked at, that's it. You should expect no more from that person. But because of our history and the way that we deal, I, you know, I always follow through. I'm always on time. I'm early usually. Then I was like, uh, when I asked him to come, first of all, you know, this Sunday. And he was like, well, I'm, I'm busy over here. I got a whole line. I don't know what time I get there, but I'll stop by there. And I was like, all right, I don't care what time it is. Just come by. And then... You know, when I found out that it's probably going to be later than what I had thought, I was like, well, look, I, I need to go. And because uh, it's my mom's birthday, I'm going to check her out. And he's like, all right, go ahead. And I'm like, I'm going to leave the key in the truck. Leave the truck unlocked because in the middle of the day, it's probably cool. And just lock the key in there when you leave. Give me the bill. All right, cool. So that's it. I mean, what else can I say? Was it just uh, pointing out how important it is to things a certain way. All right.
Uh, if anybody has any idea of what's going on with this truck, please let me know. And let all of us know. Hopefully, no one else runs into this problem. But just in case you do, we need some answers. All right, y'all take it easy.